European Space Agency released the data from uh, uh, ExoMars uh, camera uh, on one of its uh, orbiters of Mars. There is a new report from NASA that shows that 3i Atlas might be picking up a little speed in, quote, non-gravitational acceleration. It should have been the biggest moment in astronomy this decade. 3i Atlas caught in high resolution by America's most advanced camera in space. 3i Atlas came closest to Mars within uh, 30 million kilometers, and the high-rise camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter took uh, several images of it. These are the highest resolution images we have. But while the European Space Agency released their images and China published tracking data, NASA remained silent. And now Harvard's A.V. Loeb is raising an alarm, not just about what 3i Atlas might be, but about why we're not being told anything at all. The object is uh, quite large and uh, it's also aligned in its path with uh, a plane of the planets around the sun. The signs are there. The silence is louder than ever. And if we do not ask questions now, we might lose our only chance to find out what really passed through our solar system. NASA's silence. NASA had the shot, and they took it. On October 2nd, 2025, one of the most advanced space cameras ever made was aimed directly at 3i Atlas. This wasn't some blurry ground telescope hoping for a lucky frame. This was high-resolution imaging science experiment sitting on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, flying above the red planet at just the right time. They didn't miss. The images were taken, the data was logged, but then nothing ever came out. Uh, NASA's uh, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter collected the data at the right time. No press conference. No early release to scientists. No updates on the NASA site. Weeks went by. People waited. The astronomy community kept refreshing feeds. Still nothing. The silence didn't feel accidental. At the exact same time, something else was happening. The European Space Agency, who had their own orbiter near Mars, the Trace Gas Orbiter, did release their images. They confirmed what Hubble saw months earlier. That strange jet, that bright structured object, is still there, clearer this time. But while Europe was sharing, NASA was shutting down. It's true that the United States government entered a shutdown on October 1st. That meant many non-essential operations paused. NASA, being federally funded, had to freeze major communications. So yes, that could explain the delay. But the images, they were already captured, scientists had already begun processing the data, and high-rise was working. The equipment didn't shut off. It was doing its job. The mission was automated and long-planned. And that camera, by the way, can spot objects as small as 30 centimeters from over 300 kilometers away. That kind of detail could tell us whether 3i Atlas had seams, shadows, or signs of structure. It could show whether that strange jet was outgassing or something more mechanical. These aren't small details. These are the clues we needed to figure out what this object really is. Why was the most important data being withheld? Was it really because of a political budget fight, or did the shutdown offer something else to cover? NASA normally races to share new discoveries. They love big press moments. When Perseverance landed, they streamed every second. When James Webb sent back its first images, that was a global event. But this time, when something truly weird entered our system, their most powerful camera took the best photos of it and then went silent. It's also not the first time something like this has happened. Let's rewind to 2017. The Oumuamua object had just zipped through our system. Harvard's Avi Loeb suggested it might be artificial. NASA downplayed it. For months, there was almost no discussion from major agencies. Then when interest died down, they quietly said it was likely a rock, just an unusual one. Then there was the methane spike on Mars, detected by Curiosity rover. Again, silence. It was only through leaks and pressure that NASA confirmed the spikes and then downplayed it immediately. If NASA holds the clearest images of a mysterious object that could challenge what we know about interstellar visitors, why aren't those images public? Why aren't researchers around the world allowed to study them? And why is the agency with the best view of this object the only one not talking? The European Space Agency didn't wait. China didn't wait either. Even amateur astronomers have been sharing what they can but NASA with the best tools stayed silent for weeks. Avi Loeb has seen this before, and he believes silence is not a scientific answer, especially not when public data is being held back. When governments get to decide what science gets shared and when, we lose more than just information. We lose trust, we lose time, and we lose the ability to react in the moment. The silence around 3i Atlas feels different. 
It happened right as the object was doing things we couldn't explain. Right as Hubble showed something strange. Right as ESA released their data. The European Space Agency released the data from, uh, uh, it looks like uh, they detected the, uh, the interstellar visitor, 3 I Atlas. Right when everyone was watching. And suddenly, NASA wasn't. So what are they waiting for? The anomaly itself. Most objects that come from interstellar space are dark, small, and hard to see. They travel alone, following strange angles, barely visible against the black. But 3 Eye Atlas was different from the start, and every new piece of data just made the mystery deeper. The first red flag was its path. When astronomers traced the direction of its travel, they were stunned. It was almost perfectly lined up with the flat disk, where all the planets orbit. In space, that is rare. Interstellar objects do not know or care where our planets are. They enter at odd angles. They cut across the solar system like a skipping stone. But it means that 3i Atlas is scattering light in such a way that has never been seen before for any other comet or asteroid in our solar system. But this one went smoothly, aligned, as if it knew where to go, as if it had a map. Imagine throwing a dart from the other side of the country and hitting the bullseye. That is how unlikely this trajectory was. And yet, 3i Atlas was on that perfect path, straight through the solar system's orbital plane. That raised eyebrows, not just from astronomers, but from physicists, mathematicians, and those who have seen enough to know this was no ordinary flyby. Then there was its light. 3i Atlas was too bright. Comets that drift in from deep space are usually covered in dark material. These surfaces absorb most light. They do not reflect much. That is why even powerful telescopes struggle to spot them until they are very close. But 3i Atlas reflected sunlight like a mirror. It glowed and stood out, and only kept getting brighter. Astronomers could not explain it. Some said it might have a strange surface. Others guessed it was shedding material, but the brightness did not match the size. It acted more like an object that wanted to be seen, not one trying to hide. And then came the biggest anomaly of all, the jet. This is the moment where science began to stumble. On July 21st, when the Hubble Space Telescope captured new images, it showed something that should be impossible a bright defined jet extending from the object, not away from the sun like every other comet in history, but toward it. That single image broke the rules of physics. When comets approach the sun, solar radiation heats up the frozen gases on their surface. These gases escape, carrying dust with them. The result is a glowing tail that always points away from the sun, not because the comet chooses to, but because the sun pushes it that way. The solar wind acts like a fire hose, blasting particles outward, that is what we see with Halley's Comet. That is what we saw with Borisov. That is what happens every single time, but not here. 3 Eye Atlas showed a jet that pointed the wrong way, toward the very thing that should have been forcing material away. Imagine smoke drifting into a fire instead of away from it. That is how unnatural this looked. Scientists checked and rechecked the data. They thought maybe it was a glitch. Maybe it was a shadow. Maybe the camera had a flaw. But every time they ran the analysis, the same result came back. This object was defying what we know about natural comet behavior. Some tried to explain it away. They suggested maybe we were looking at a shadow of a jet, or that the comet had spun around in a strange way. But the angle of the jet remained fixed, the brightness stayed steady, and when the European Space Agency captured their own images weeks later, the feature was still there, still pointing toward the sun, still ignoring every known rule. Normal comets look messy, their surfaces are irregular, their behavior changes over time. They spin, wobble, burst. But 3 Eye Atlas looked too clean, and its shape appeared symmetrical. Its light stayed even. There was no flickering, no outbursts, no tail fanning out behind it. It did not behave like a dirty snowball. It behaved like an object holding its form. That should not happen. Not in deep space. Not under solar pressure. Not this close to the sun. This is what set it apart from previous visitors. Oumuamua was strange, too. It had odd acceleration, a flat shape, no tail. It got people talking, but it was small, too far away. We never got a good look. Borisov was more typical, a classic comet. Tail, gas, dust, nothing surprising. But 3 Eye Atlas? This is something new, something bright, something controlled, and most important, something we can see. We are not guessing from a distance anymore. We have the data. Multiple agencies have tracked it. Multiple telescopes have locked onto it. And everywhere they look, the object still refuses to play by the rules. So what is it? Avi Loeb speaks out. When most scientists get uncomfortable, they go quiet. When the data does not add up, they wait. 
They say, we need more information, or it is too early to tell. But Avi Loeb isn't afraid of asking the hard questions. So when 3i Atlas showed up behaving like no comet ever recorded, and NASA suddenly stopped talking, Loeb stepped forward. Again, this is not his first time. Back in 2017, when the strange object called Oumuamua raced through our solar system, Loeb was the first mainstream astrophysicist to say what everyone else was only whispering. What if it was not a rock? What if it was not natural? Loeb did not forget it, and he did not stop talking about it. Now, eight years later, a new object is breaking new rules, but this time, we are watching it in real time, and once again, the official voices are holding back. The data is slow, the updates are delayed, and the images from NASA are still missing. Loeb is not accusing anyone directly. He is not saying the government is lying, but he is making something very clear. This looks familiar. He wrote an op-ed soon after the European Space Agency released their Mars encounter images of 3i Atlas. In it, he asked why the most powerful space agency in the world was silent. He pointed out the timing of the government shutdown. He noted the strange alignment of the object's path, the sun-facing jet, the symmetrical body, the lack of dust, the refusal to behave like any known comet. He said science is failing if it fears its own questions. He believes institutions are too invested in protecting their reputations, their funding, and their control over what gets studied. He also stated that transparency is not optional, it is the foundation of truth. These are not wild claims, they are facts. You cannot find the truth if you are afraid of what it might be. Loeb has spent years building the Galileo Project, a Harvard-backed research effort focused on finding solid evidence of extraterrestrial technology. He believes that interstellar visitors are not rare and that at least one of them might not be natural. And now, he is saying that 3i Atlas might be our second chance, and one that is still close enough to study. Avi is pushing for more data access, more telescope time, more public tracking. He is asking other scientists to speak up, to stop pretending that weird behavior means nothing. Avi sees a pattern. He believes institutions, especially in the West, are trained to downplay anomalies, to label them unlikely or natural before the investigation has even started. It is safer that way, but safety could cost us everything. He is not just asking about comets. He is asking about systems, about who decides what gets shared, about how we, as a species, respond when the universe sends us something we cannot explain. He is calling for international protocols, a kind of Cosmic Freedom of Information Act, a rule that says if data is collected in space, it should be shared, fast, full, and. The biggest danger is not that we find something artificial. It is that we find it, recognize it, and then let it fade away because we were too scared to say it out loud. What the public wasn't told. This is not the first time NASA has held back. It is not the first time a discovery was made, recorded, logged, and then paused. But the silence around 3i Atlas has hit differently, because this time, the entire world was watching. 3i Atlas is not just another comet. It is not acting like one. Its path is precise. Its brightness is abnormal. Its jet is pointing the wrong way. And when it passed near Mars, NASA had its best tool locked on target. High Rise was ready. It captured the moment. But since then, nothing. We were told the government shutdown paused communications. But no one explained why images that were already taken, already stored, could not be released. They sit on servers, processed, reviewed, still sealed. It is not a technical issue. It is not a power failure. It is a choice. And that matters. NASA is a public agency. Its missions are funded by taxpayers. Its discoveries are shared on official sites. But not this time. Not when the data could raise hard questions. Not when the answers might not be simple. Here is why this is a problem. People trust science because it shares, because it reveals, because it is open. That is the whole point. You find something, you publish it. You show your work. You invite others to test it, challenge it, repeat it. But when something is found and then hidden, that trust begins to crack. The public does not need proof of aliens to get suspicious. All it takes is one silence, one gap, one image that never arrives. And the longer it stays hidden, the worse it gets. Because now people are not just asking, what is this object? They are asking, why are we not allowed to know what it is? Let's go back to other moments in space history. This has happened before. In 2003, methane was detected on Mars. It came from NASA's own Curiosity rover. Methane can mean geology, or it can mean biology, life. The discovery was huge, but the announcement was delayed for months. It was only shared after international pressure and multiple leaks. In 2017, Oumuamua passed through. Strange shape, strange motion, no tail, no gas. Again, NASA kept quiet. 
it was left to Avi Loeb and a few others to speak up and say what no one wanted to hear. Now it is happening again with 3i Atlas. It is about the system. It's about the decision to hold back. Other agencies released their findings. The European Space Agency shared theirs. China released tracking data. Even amateur astronomers gave updates. But NASA, the one with the best camera, the clearest view, stayed quiet. Progress only happens when we share. When NASA keeps the public in the dark and turns science into mystery. Already people are talking about 3i Atlas in terms of conspiracy because of how it is being treated. We cannot claim to be a species searching for truth and then hide the best evidence behind closed doors. 3i Atlas is a chance to do things differently because if we cannot handle this object, how can we handle the next one? What comes next? 3i Atlas is still moving, still visible, still rewriting what we thought we knew about interstellar visitors. But as it keeps traveling through our solar system, one question keeps hanging in the air. Will we actually learn the truth this time? The next few months will decide everything. The object is heading for a close pass with the sun. Then it will swing back toward Earth. If the data is captured and released quickly, we might finally understand what this thing really is. But if delays and silence continue, we risk watching another once-in-a-lifetime event fade away with no answers. Astronomers know exactly when the key moments are coming. The first big event will be the solar encounter, when the object gets close enough to the sun for its surface to react. Natural comets break apart or glow during this stage. They form bright tails, expand, and release clouds of gas. But if 3i Atlas remains steady and structured, that will tell us something important. It will mean that the rules we know might not apply here. Then, not long after, it will make its closest pass near Earth. It will not come dangerously close, but close enough for new observations. Telescopes across the planet will be waiting. Professional teams, university researchers, even skilled amateurs. This will be the best window to get sharp details, surface reflections, and chemical readings. NASA's silence has already cost time. The European Space Agency and a few independent observatories stepped up, but they can only do so much. The best equipment still belongs to NASA, and Avi Loeb knows which is why he's warning us. When something strange enters our system, the biggest threat is not what it might be, but what humans will do with the information. We can repeat the same pattern of silence, or we can do what science is supposed to do, share, learn, reveal. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.